I've been waiting a long time to do some realistic hospital photos. It all started because I found a realistic, hyper-realistic silicone baby doll that I wanted to do photos of. So I thought I better start with a pregnant mom. We've got the ultrasound technician slash doctor there. And here is some major props for this. Yes, I may have been on pain medication when I ordered this hospital equipment, but oh, isn't it fabulous? Look at that bassinet, the hospital bassinet with a little uh, polka dot mattress in there. It was packed very well. It all came unbroken. I finally had the chance to take it all out and set up this medical diorama. Yes, it's even got cabinet doors that open. And the bassinet in the top, perfect size for my dolls. So cute. And that screen, I thought that would make a great prop. I could put it behind the bed or behind the bassinet or wherever I needed to use it. I just knew that I would need a screen and it's so medically looking. Now, this is, <laughs> this is amazing unboxing this last piece um like i said they very well done very um accurate i had the choice of ordering the bed sitting up or laying down it does not move it's got the little call button there there's buttons uh, printed on the end of the bed uh very nice job on this hospital bed for my photo so i'm putting it all in the diorama trying to get it set up so that i can finally take these realistic photos you got to add the little medical charts here we've got the dad and the mom waiting for the birth of this baby and waiting and waiting and waiting because we know babies take a long time probably i should have just shortened this clip what the heck was i thinking i'm not sure why it's why it's so long Okay, come on, come on. Not sure what I was thinking. All right, enter the doctor. Now, this is an adult uh, channel, but I did not want to have any gory childbirth scenes for you in case you're squamish or if any of the grandchildren walked by. So let's just to say she's having the baby. This is as good as it's going to get. This is as gory as it's going to get. And yes, childbirth is painful. She's still got her eyeshadow and lipstick on, so she's doing all right. All right, getting the bed ready. Put her in there so I can finally, finally get the photos that all of this was bought for. Get her adjusted in there. All that hair, it was a mistake using that doll, Princess of Ireland, because all of that red hair caused me nothing but trouble. I used her because I thought her face was so beautiful. And then, at some point, I decided her silly arms were not going to work for me. Why did I not use a made-to-move doll for this project? What was I thinking? Okay, we've got the bassinet in here because this is the reason I did this. I set up this whole medical diorama so that I could photograph him. This tiny, realistic baby doll. See, I even put a hospital bracelet on him. Uh, the bassinet and everything was made by Northern Light Miniatures. Look at all these paper goods I got. I'll show you in just a minute the Etsy shop or the eBay shop where I ordered them. I am not a good cutter. I failed cutting in kindergarten, so I just order my cutouts. This was a very nice set. Now we've got a hospital bracelet on mom and baby. Look at these perfect miniatures. Add a little bit of realism. I love to add little paperwork and all the extra things to my photos. Yes, here, this is where we got them. Play scale for real on eBay. All the little paperwork. All right, we're going to show dad in here and mom. Dad's holding the baby. Of course, he is lovingly. Wanted to showcase the baby. Dad came out of a box just for this occasion. Uh, he is a good looking guy, one of my recent acquisitions. And then finally, here we are, the baby in the bassinet. All of this was to photograph this amazing miniature silicone doll. Got the little cap I can put on it. This is just a, such an amazing little silicone doll. Came with a bottle and a pacifier and a few other things. A little t-shirt. All right, well, I did it. I got all of this set up. I took the photos that I wanted to, and I finally photographed that baby. 
I hope you enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes. I'll be posting all the photos later, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of how it's done, what I use to do it, and um, why I do it, because I am a adult doll collector and I need a way to showcase my dolls and my photography. So that is all this is for, is for me to um, show you my collection. All right, now we've put a made to move body on her because she just was not being cooperative. Her hair is still a problem, but I think it turned out pretty in the photos, don't you? All right, there we go. She's still having a little trouble holding the baby, but I think all in all, I got some great photos. I had a fun time doing it. I've got some nice new props to do some more photos. And I will, of course, be posting more photos of this baby and this hospital scene. I'm so glad that my husband helped build this diorama because I think it turned out really nice. I think the baby looks very realistic. And now if I can just keep her hair out of the way, <laughs> we'll be good for the photos. I hope you enjoyed seeing my behind the scenes.